Cody Rhodes quits AEW. Steve Austin is likely returning to a WWE ring. And just like that, WWE is set to seize momentum in the wrestling wars. Oh, shit. It's pro wrestling bits. Cody Rhodes shocked the wrestling world by announcing he will be leaving AEW. Rhodes was on a handshake deal with Tony Khan and AEW for months following his contract expiration in December. So he essentially got two months of uncontracted self-promotion and wild crowd reaction for what is sure to be a lucrative free agency period. One where Cody Rhodes could literally show up on WWE television today if the price is right. This is going to be a cold, hard lesson for fourth year booker Tony Khan about letting talent on your television when they don't have a contract. Here's another lesson you might want to consider. Don't let your contracted talent openly negotiate with the competition. Tony Khan knows as well as anybody, this is a carny business and a handshake deal in pro wrestling means about as much as an Olympic gold medal for Russia. Cody Rhodes is a former EVP and a free agent represents a huge coup for WWE, if nothing else because of the perception. Any minute now, there could be a pro wrestling narrative that a founding member of AEW signed with WWE the first chance they got. To outsiders and investors, that's huge for the perception of WWE as the alpha company. To hardcore wrestling fans, it feeds more into the whispers that there's infighting between the EVPs and AEW. An anonymous source even told me that the relationship between Tony Khan and Cody Rhodes soured early into the launch of AEW because while Cody was set to be the face of AEW, Khan was quote, obsessed with himself, end quote. If it's any consolation, Cody Rhodes never did challenge for the AEW World Championship, so at least AEW is still honoring its stipulations. AEW has had momentum on its side for much of the national wrestling wars. They won the Wednesday Night Wars, they signed several former WWE top stars. They sold out the United Center with CM Punk, who drew a massive rating for AEW Rampage upon his return. Keith Lee is in the motherfucking building. But with contracts set to expire and inevitable wrestling politics starting to rock the foundation of AEW, its honeymoon period is starting to end if it hasn't already. Cody and Brandy Rhodes leaving AEW could be one of the many dominoes to fall, giving WWE the momentum it has been desperately seeking. I don't think it helped that as polarizing as Cody Rhodes was in AEW, Brandy Rhodes was equally as hated by this fan base in a seemingly more real way. Every time she opened her mouth, she was reminded that she's only here because of her husband and she needs to quote, shut the fuck up. For those of you keeping score, that's now two black women quitting AEW as soon as their contracts were up. Black women are pretty radioactive in AEW, just ask Jade Cargill or Big Swole, and these fans drove not one but both Rhodeses to quit Twitter in the case of Brandy Rhodes due to racist abuse. Now both Cody and Brandy are gone, and in the process, AEW has lost its two biggest heat seekers. Happy Black History Month! Also hang in there Jade, I hear WWE is interested in you too. In addition to negotiating with the Rhodeses, WWE better be trying to find a way to either buy the rights to Rhodes to the top or to repurpose that reality show for themselves on USA or the WWE Network. Because if there's any behind the scenes storyline in pro wrestling I'd like to see right now, it's Cody and Brandy Rhodes leaving AEW and heading to WWE. They can bleep out the words AEW if they have to. She quit Twitter. He quit Twitter. Now they're both quitting AEW together. It's Rhodes to WWE this fall, only on Peacock. Cody Rhodes' potential WWE return comes on the heels of a potential Steve Austin in-ring return. Stone Cold Steve Austin headlining WrestleMania 38 in Texas would go a long way toward filling up a 100,000 seat stadium. And with CM Punk and Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement in recent years, Steve Austin is one of the few remaining white whales in pro wrestling. Because there have been so many massive returns in pro wrestling of late, the white whale is an endangered species. In the new year, Steve Austin and Cody Rhodes have emerged as the top two pro wrestling news stories of 2022. And by WrestleMania 38, both could be in WWE. Should that happen, until further notice, the W in AEW would stand for who? Also, shout out to the God Arsenio Hall right quick. Shout out to that late night God. This was never really gonna be a true war until a big name in AEW opened the forbidden door to WWE. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not what a forbidden door is. The technical definition of forbidden door is- Shut the fuck up. Anyway, Cody to WWE is huge news and he represents everything WWE needs right now because Lord knows WWE cannot create a new star by itself. 
but WWE lacks in creative and building for the future, they'll make up for it in buzz and star power if they're able to land both Cody Rhodes and Steve Austin this WrestleMania season. WWE should be doing everything in its power to sign Cody Rhodes. Rhodes announcing he's leaving AEW instead of creating a bidding war will affect his price. So WWE can actually get one of AEW's biggest stars in somewhat of a discount, though the contract figures to be massive. But what exactly will WWE be paying for? Will they be paying for Cody Rhodes to come in and shake up a current roster that's needed to be bailed out by a part-timer for the past 11 years at WrestleMania? Or will they be paying for the narrative and the headlines that they signed two former AEW executives? Upon signing, will WWE bury Cody Rhodes to teach him a lesson for leaving in the first place and starting his own company? Because as tempting as that is, and as petty as WWE is, with so many AEW contracts coming up, that would be sending the wrong message to potential top AEW free agents, including MJF, in the bidding war of 2024. Either way, just like Steve Austin and Mike Tyson helped WWE win the Monday Night Wars, Steve Austin and Cody Rhodes might help WWE finally take charge of its war against AEW. This is a plaintiff, Cody Rhodes. He's quitting AEW now that his contract is up and his backstage power with the company is down. Rhodes and his wife Brandy received polarizing reactions in AEW and they've had enough. He's divorcing AEW for greener pastures in WWE and even greener dollars. I guess all roads lead to Stamford. This is a defendant, AEW president Tony Khan. But okay, here we go.